Hey guys. Hey Welcome back to our channel. So today we finally sat down and we thought it was a good idea. Um, if y'all gonna be watching our channel, just to get to know us a little bit more. So we're gonna do the marriage tag. Yes. Okay, it's been highly requested. So, wanna start off? Yeah, sure. First question was, where did we meet? So, Tess and I met in college um, in 2015. We went to ISU, Indiana State University. Sycamores. And we met in our um, dormitory. Um, it was like the first week that we started going there. Um, so specifically, it was Jones Hall on September 11th. That's the day that we met and we just claimed that as the day. Um, the day we yeah, fell in love. <laughs> the day that we first started dating. But we actually were friends for a couple of months. Um, but the way that we kind of just got into the relationship, it was like, I came to school and I was actually dating somebody. Yeah. And I'm just, just like, you know. I was like, I don't care how long it take for you to dump him, but you're going to be mine. <laughs> but my plan was, I really didn't even want to be in a relationship. It was kind of like a situation <clears throat> shit. But yeah, that's another video. That's a story time. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, we met in 2015 in Jones Hall. I saw her, uh, there was a couple of guys in my dorm that we all just, we, I mean, we all couldn't help to see her beauty. We were like, dad, who is that? She up here looking at her, trying to get her mail out from her little dorm locker. I'm like, yep, I gotta go say what's up to her. I gotta at least get my, my face recognized by her or something. We live in the same dorm room. I'm like, huh, huh, you know, we gonna be friends. Look, he came up to me trying to have his Barry White voice on. I don't so know. Like, what's going on, Shorty? I didn't even tell her my full name. Ain't that crazy? It definitely wasn't Shorty. <laughs> 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 to be yeah, honest, yeah. I don't even remember what he said. I just know that he had a deep voice. You don't remember what I said? Handsome. I don't. I mean, I feel like it was like an introduction. Like, I just told I'm her my shy. Name. I like just told her my name. Yeah. I just said, hey, I'm Cortez. You know, nice to meet you. Did we exchange numbers? We exchanged numbers. I said, or did we give social media? No, we get, no, we had numbers because we was texting. You was sending me eye emojis and all that. Girl, I, okay, now, now you're showing out. With her in the si situation. Now, you, now you're showing out. Let's tell the truth. You wasn't now. married. Okay. Anyway, he's telling a little white lies at this point. He don't even know. I do know. You definitely sent me some emojis. Don't play. Don't act like she a little thirsty for me, too. She's not trying to play. <laughs> I'm not out. thirsty. I was a little thirsty, and she was, too. We both was texting back every five seconds. We was on the same page. We wasn't on no games, but a little bit at Anyways, first. Anyways, so if you're still watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. What you waiting for? Like, like, it take just a second. It takes. Like, this is a funny little story when we first met. So he had met a friend. Um, you met oh, Willie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you tell him. So my uh, my homeboy that I met at the orientation, um, me and him got real cool. So we was like, you know, you you my day one from. We wasn't roommates, but we was st just still real close. And her roommate was one of her best friends. Hey, Lorraine. What up, sis? And Malik was like, hey man, I just got. Uh, you know, this fine girl number, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, that's what's up. And, you know, keep in mind, this, not trying to be mean or nothing, but he hype up on every woman. So I'm thinking like, all right, whatever. Whole time, I'm like, okay, he got him, he got him a little something, something. Whole time, it's they best friends. And I'm like, right. Wow, so you got her best friend and, you know, whatever, whatever. Yeah. So we both, like, we can go on double dates. You know, we, we both hype, but, you know, long story short, them two, they definitely wasn't meant to be together. They totally <laughs> different people. We all hung out one day though, and me and her, we was just vibing. We instantly knew we yeah. was we was going to click. Yeah. So. so that's how we met. So what was your first impression of me? First impression, it was pretty simple, you know. You were handsome. I'm like, look at his eyes. His voice was so deep. It was just he was very attractive. He seemed very humble. It wasn't all of this. At first, it was real, just like you know. I wonder what he really about, you know what I'm saying? But um, the first thing that really caught my attention was when we started having conversation. And so we had a lot of things in common. We love music, 
because we would just hang out. Like it would be, our friend groups would just be hanging out together. And so um, we all would go to this thing called 858. I wasn't all the way submitted to Christ. Like I did not, you know, fully surrender at that time. So I was like, I was doing my own thing, but I would go to 858, which was basically um, like a Christian it was it's just a like Christian a service, service where, you know, college students wanted to get to know Christ. And, yeah. You know, just be in his presence. So that mm -hmm. was just a time every Tuesday or Wednesday at 858. Mm -hmm. And, and homie he Chike, he got me saved. And Logan and Rasan, yes. M3, man, they got us saved that freshman year. Yeah. Not saying we was perfect after that or anything, but, you know. We knew the we gospel. Part. We knew the gospel. We, we you know, we. That started the journey. Yeah. And so um, when I found out that he was down to go, to that with me, it was kind of like, yes. Like if I was to get in a relationship, <laughs> yeah, that was one of my big things. Like one of the main qualities, like deal breaker. If you are not gonna be a Christian, if you are not gonna be thirsty to like run after the Lord with me, then we don't even need, have, we don't need to have nothing going on, you know? Cause we're in school, I'm trying to be focused. I'm trying to really find myself. And I didn't need nobody really um, distracting me, even though that's very much so <laughs> what it Boy, turned out to there, be. We was there a whole extra year than what we needed to be due to us distracting and Man. getting caught up in the world. Getting caught up, y'all. We got a lot of story times, okay? So we're going to be transparent with y'all. That's one thing we're going to do. But we're keeping it light right now. Yep. She got me hooked when she told me uh, that we could be friends. I instantly knew, I'm like, dang, I ain't never had a girl that I could be friends with this fine. I already mathematically knew it was, it was gonna have to go somewhere eventually. But I was willing to, you know, be patient. You know, I'm, I wasn't trying to rush nothing. And at that time I was literally like, I'm up here like telling God, I'm like, God, you know, I'm gonna be done with all this player stuff. You know, I don't wanna be out here messing with all these different women. I'm like, I wanna be a, you know, one woman man. And I'm like, I'm ready to look for my wife and be successful, graduate college, you know. And literally like a couple of days later, or I think it was maybe a couple of weeks, maybe a week or two, I see her and I'm like, man, you know, that's why we are gonna be cool. But yeah. I was it the first week her. or second week we met? It was second week of college. On September 11th, we started at the end of August and we met like the second week. It was the second week okay. of college. And after that, we was together every single day, pretty much, literally every single day from the day we met till today we was with you and we other. stayed in the same dorm so he stayed on the second floor i stayed on the fifth floor mm -hmm. which was very dangerous but that's a long story from now you know <laughs> it was in our earthly ways we've been repented we've been saved sanctified and delivered from that stuff but amen we don't we don't Hallelujah. encourage nobody that isn't married to live with each other we just happen to get lucky and we still had the Lord in us, but we, uh, <laughs> that's not the way to go, people. Not so the way to make go, sure you guys are not living with each other before marriage. Yeah. You guys will not regret that. But anyway, <laughs> um, on to question three, when did you meet my fam? When did I meet your family? Hmm. Oh, New Year's. So the New Year's of um, 2015. We came, we crossed paths in 2015, but I feel like I was really invited into the family New Year's. Yeah. Because we went, I went and spent time in Indianapolis and I think I stayed with y'all. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's, New Year's was official. Like, you know, I met his grandma, I met his dad. Mm -hmm. I stayed with him and his mom. Like, you know, his brother accepted me. Hey, Darius. He loved her. I love Darius. So, yeah. When did you meet mine? My whole family, like dad. It was uh, at, uh, I remember when I met, it was the, um, your parents, Justin, uh, Mike at the time, where Simon was dating them. I don't really, it's not an exact, it was definitely that following year of 2016. I think it was like in the springtime of 2016, so about six or seven months after we officially met. No, it might have been even a little longer, about nine months after we met. I met mainly the whole fam, but I met your mom first. You at, met Rasan first. Well, yeah, I met Rasan first, then her mom a couple months following that before we got real serious. I think that was like, I met her mom like November, but. But my family loved them right away. Yeah, whole so, fam. Really, it was the main thing, Rasan. Rasan yeah. liked them. Gotta make sure the sis. The sis like the mama. 
Okay, because Rasan gonna say if she don't like him or not. All she, right. gonna, she gonna let him know. Now, <laughs> me, me and sis, we cool. We locked in. Yes. How long, How long have, have we, we been, been together? together? Uh, seven months, <laughs> seven, seven years, years, and two months. Yeah. Wait, today is the eleventh. So yeah, seven days and two months. So. Wow. You yeah, see how I remember that? You good at that? You good at that? Um, do we have any traditions? We love to travel. We go to church every Sunday. We don't miss out on the word. We don't miss out of being in the presence of the Lord. But we do have, besides church, which is the main and only tradition most couples or all couples should have, we go on trips usually about three to four times a year, yeah. mainly Florida. Yeah. Uh, we actually just went out of the country twice last year without any passports at all. We got blessed. We drove across Mexico, across the border. We was clowning, y'all. We don't even want to tell y'all what we was bringing in the car on, across the border. This is in our our worldly ways. We was clowning, and we got the Lord just was anointed on it. He had his hand on Man, us. He made sure we it was, was good. We was covered in the blood. Mexico, about a year and a half ago, um, and then this year we went to the Bahamas, um, and then of course Florida and. That's really about it, but we love to travel. We love. We to, need to travel at least three times our, a year. Yeah, our, our tradition is going to the beach and being with each other, sometimes with a friend, a group of friends, but really with each other. It's yeah. important to get away and just recharge, mm -hmm. center yourself, get it all together. It's not all about just working, working, working. You gotta have mm -hmm. some type of, enjoy mm -hmm. your life. Yeah. Enjoy your life. Um, what, what was, was our, our first, first road trip? trip? KJ's going to Kalamazoo. We went to Kalamazoo, Michigan. She got pulled over for going like 110, y'all. She was flying. I oh used my to be, God. I used to be out here. She was flying. It was like a three and a half hour to from our college to my friend's college, one of my good friends. We was flying to get there. I mean, she was flying to get back. That's yeah. when I got it. And I got reckless driving that day. Yeah, I got a reckless driving ticket. But thank God that's all I got because I could have got arrested that day. But um, I was going like 100, a little over 100, and he stopped me when I was only going like, what, 90, 80? Yeah, thank goodness. So, yeah. Who wears the pants in this relationship? <laughs> Baby. Uh. <laughs> what you mean, baby? Who, who wears the pants? I'm still waiting to, for you to My tell. husband wears the pants in the relationship. I'm wearing them good, too. He wears them good, y'all. He's really fell into the role of being the lead. For a while there, I was a little... It was a little tough for me submitting, huh? Both. Yeah. But she did both scared. what? We both had a tough time. Oh, yeah. So you got to get, you know, ain't nobody just up and ever ready for marriage. Like, we're going to go and everything going to be perfect. We're going to have yeah. some, you know, but we good. We don't, we don't hardly ever argue, y'all. I understand my role. So I'm going to just sit back. And it's much more peaceful that way. Mm -hmm. Let your man leave. That's what I was saying. I was so good about the stepping class the other day because that's what they opened up with. I'm like. Lead, fellas, lead. Yeah. Wives and women. Pray for your husband. Pray for your future husband. Yep. That they can become the man that the Lord wants them to be. And you won't have to worry about trying to boss your man around. And girl, just let the man leave. That's what they're here for. Simple as that, ladies. Um, do I have any weird obsessions or do you have any weird obsessions? You could be honest. You could tell them. <laughs> um... We're keeping it PG. Because Weird obsession. Because tell them that one. No. The main one. They don't care. You can tell them. <laughs> tell them. <laughs> Tess loves, loves my feet. <laughs> he loves my feet. I'm like, what? Is that some type of fetish? Nah, he said he likes feet. my feet. I just love hers. I mean, you would think a girl this pretty, like, what's wrong with her? You know, you'd be like, what's wrong? Something got her with the, the hands is up, the feet, something. When I looked at the feet, I said, that's the one. Because I ain't married no woman with all ugly feet. That's just me. Like, I've de I've dated women that that were pretty and had, you know, I ain't sure be mean to them ladies out there, but I, ain't, I just didn't have no feet like this lady. <laughs> the moment she put on them neutral colors on them feet. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Okay. Yeah, do you, do I have any weird obsessions? Think um, about it.
Mm -hmm. You got any weird ones? That's the only got that one really. I like to play with your ears. Not that much to where it's a weird obsession. Moving on from that, that ain't really no much. Yeah. Nicknames for each other. I actually, uh, though her auntie calls her a nani. And I'll be like, what up, nani? I just think it's funny, <laughs> so I just call her nani. I don't really have a nickname. I just call him baby. Baby. If I'm watching TV, what am I watching? Basketball. Or? Sports, man. He loves boxing. He loves, I mean, basketball. We watch a lot of shows, so it's just like, it depends on the day. Hmm. And he loves Fortnite. Fortnite? You know what it what is? What in the world? Heck no. What's it called? Call of Duty. Call of Duty, Fortnite. Warzone, not Fortnite. Warzone. Fortnite's for like 10 year olds. Oh, <laughs> let me not say that on YouTube. They mess around. It. Okay, what am I watching? What are you watching? America's Next Top Model. Um, sisters. Um, can't lie, she be watching uh, like Housewives. No, not I love that one out. Housewives sometimes. I X that one out. I start watching the toxicity. It's funny sometimes. I can't even hold you. Like we ain't like that, but to see it, it's just, to me, it's, yeah, you gotta pray for them. It's sad, but man, sometimes it's flat out hilarious. Man, people crazy. I was just into Glow Up. Mm -hmm. So good. She likes that singing shows. Uh, I watch you, she watches a lot of I watch vlogs. crime shows. Crime shows. She likes for some crime shows. Oh, America Horror Story. Yeah. She likes that show a lot. Oh, and uh, we both like, uh, what's our favorite Nick? Black Mirror. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. They need to come out with a new season of that. Yeah. What kind of cake would you bake me on my birthday? That should be easy. Chocolate. Babe. What, oh, chocolate? I'm, okay, I, I mistake that because you like the chocolate muffins. Yeah. But he likes confetti. He be baking just confetti <sighs> cake almost, <laughs> randomly. Almost once a month. Like, I had a chill, for real. It's so good. Yeah, he so will good. make it and then throw it away and be like, you know, I just don't. I got to stop eating it. <laughs> it's so good. And then I have to make him, like, crush it up in the trash can because he'll throw it away in a nice little bag and, and then take it out. it out. And then be like. Bruh. <laughs> That's a weird obsession. <laughs> For real. Do I play any sports? Duh. Play basketball and he boxes. She, she, uh, she boxes sometimes, too, and she does calisthenics. What? what other sport did I play? Oh, mainly golf. Sorry, y'all. Golf and we skate. Yeah, that's a hobby. Yeah, that's a hobby and a sport. Skating is a sport. Ice skating, roller skating is a sport. Yeah. What can I spend hours doing? Doing your freaking hair. I know she's going to say that. I know she's going to say that. cut his hair. Oh, my God. Because he is very... Just a perfectionist. A perfectionist. Look, I'm up here trying to see if my lineup cool right you now. You will go in there right now. And be like, hey, you like my clean up, babe? She'd be like, I don't you even like notice it. it. You notice anything different? <laughs> <laughs> but he always keep a fresh cut. My own barber. That's the, that's the perks. No pushback. If you either. haven't already, go purchase some Work My Waves pomade. Yep. And Work My Curls is coming soon. Work My Waves on Instagram and TikTok. Link is in the bio too, to where you can get it. Um, we got plenty of it in stock. And if we ain't got none, I can get it to you in the same day. We don't have any. Yes. Ah. <laughs> and she can also spend hours doing her hair. Lately, she's been spending hours reading in the word. <laughs> Hallelujah. Period. I'm gonna do better at that as well. That's really, about, that's really about it. I've cut down the time on the hair and makeup mm -hmm. too. Cause yeah. I just don't got the time. Yeah, y'all, hey, that's it for some uh, marriage tag questions. I have some more coming. We'll do more. Y'all comment on what questions y'all have for us. Don't forget to like and share. Yeah. We appreciate y'all for watching and we'll see y'all next time. Peace. Adios.